Hi everybody. So, sorry we've been off the air for a while. We've had a lot of work going on. I've been working on the camper van. Um, the last two weeks I've been putting in efforts to get the challenge truck ready. We've got two three day events coming up. So what we've decided to do is we've changed the axles on the challenge truck. So originally it had Discovery 1 axles on it. So now we've gone over to Discovery 2 axles. We've replaced all the Discovery 2 bracketry with Discovery 1. We've put six mil diff guard on it. We've relocated all the shocks and everything so that they're in a better location, slightly better location and better than they were on the original. We've now fitted an air locker on the front. I can't afford an air locker for the back, so I'm going to weld the rear diff up. We've replaced the rear axle as well. That's now Discovery 2. And like I said, we're going to put a welded diff in this end. Um, so we'll be dropping the wheels off, pulling the shafts and sticking that in in a little while once we get it welded up. We've also fitted the old 8274 that I had that was on the front, now on the back. So this is taking it from a class one truck. It'll technically be a class three truck now. Um, but the two events that we're entering, neither they don't run on classes. They're just whatever you, you're in, you're in. So we're going to crack on and weld up the diff. Because I don't, if you do say something that doesn't sound right, I'll just edit it. So we're going to weld up our rear diff and we're putting an air locker in the front of the challenge truck for the next event. In the diff, we filled it up with brake cleaner and set it on fire to try and clean out any oil that's in it to give a better, better penetration through the spider gears. So he's going to start welding now. Cool. Right, we've reassembled the diff into the vehicle. We didn't bother recording it because it's a bit of handballing and swearing and cursing to get stuff in because it's all heavy and awkward, so we didn't bother recording that. Um, it's in and it's doing what a lock diff does. It's given us drive to both rear wheels at the same time. So we'll have to give it a test and see if it works without breaking the half shafts. Hopefully it'll be great. Hopefully it won't cause us problems.